Here we go again. Manchester United have reportedly initiated contact over a deal for Juventus star Adrian Rabiot, whose contract expires at the end of June. The Red Devils could part ways with Casemiro and Christian Eriksen this summer, with Fiorentina Loney Sofian Amrabat also set to leave the club. Rabiot, 29, could be a solid replacement for one of the three players, and the fact that he could be available on a free transfer has caught Sir Jim Ratcliffe's attention. According to Italian outlet Calcio Mercato, talks between Juventus and Rabiot's agents over a contract extension have been frozen due to his wage demands being too high. The report states that the center mid's performances have regressed physically and mentally in recent weeks, prompting rumors that he has his mind set on a move elsewhere. Rabiot has made 29 appearances across all competitions this season, scoring four goals and making three assists in the process. Despite his recent dip in form, the French international has plenty of experience at the very highest level and could prove to be a steal on a free transfer. So, Calcio Mercado claimed that Man United have made contact with Rabiot's representatives and have carried out first polls to sign him on a free transfer. A move to the Premier League is reportedly appealing to the Juventus star, and this gives the Red Devils an advantage in the race for his signature. Rabiot could, therefore, be playing alongside hot prospect Kabi Mainu at Old Trafford next season. Along with Casemiro, Eriksen and Amrabat, Team Talk sources state that Scott McTominay could also be sold this season as Ratcliffe doesn't see him as part of Man United's long-term future. Several clubs from the Premier League and the Bundesliga are interested in the Scottish international, with West Ham in particular keeping close tabs on his situation. McTominay is keen to stay and fight for his place with the Red Devils, however, and given he's under contract until 2025, his future is in his own hands this summer. With that in mind, we could potentially see Man United's midfield completely reshuffled in the coming months, and Ratcliffe seems to believe that Rabiot could be a part of that. Tottenham have also shown an interest in Rabiot in the past, though, so they could compete with Man United in the race. Meanwhile, Manchester United are keen on signing Michael O'Lees at the end of the season. A report from Give Me Sport claims that Manchester United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe is currently pushing to sign the French attacking midfielder at the end of the season. The 22-year-old is on the radar of Premier League rivals Arsenal as well, and he is valued at $65 million. It will be interesting to see if Manchester United can get the deal done at the end of the season. It is no secret that they need to bring in more quality in the wide areas. Players like Anthony have been largely underwhelming this season, and Manchester United need an upgrade on the Brazilian. Olise has proven himself in the Premier League over the years, and he is certainly one of the most talented young attackers in the league. He could develop into a top-class player for Manchester United with the right guidance. Although the 65 million asking price might seem like a premium right now, the French attacker could justify the investment in the coming seasons. So, it remains to be seen whether Manchester United can beat the competition from Arsenal and secure his signature. The 22-year-old is versatile enough to operate as the right-sided winger as well as a central attacking midfielder. He will add goals and creativity in the final third. The Frenchman has all the tools to develop into a quality player, and the likes of Arteta and Eric Ten Hag could play a key role in his development. Despite his struggles this season, the Manchester United manager has a proven track record when it comes to nurturing young players, and he showed that during his time at Ajax. At Arsenal, Arteta has done well to nurture a number of talented young players in recent seasons. Both clubs will be exciting destinations for the French attacker, and it remains to be seen where he ends up. Meanwhile, whatever happens between now and the end of the season, it is no secret that changes are in the offing at Manchester United this summer. Following confirmation of Sir Jim Ratcliffe's minority investment in February, the Failsworth-born businessman has wasted little time in stamping his authority at Old Trafford. After immediately addressing urgent off-field issues, attention will soon switch to strengthening the squad ahead of the 2024-25 campaign. United, as reported by the Manchester Evening News in February, are planning for record sales. It is possible the number of players released or sold 
could run into double figures, as well as needing to use the transfer market to offload players, it is also possible United will also make the most of expiring contracts to clear the decks. That will be the case as far as Anthony Martial is concerned. The Frenchman's deal is up at the end of June, and he is not going to be offered fresh terms, meaning his nine-year spell in M16 will draw to a close, leaving Rasmus Hoylund as the club's only out-and-out -out senior centre-forward. Manager Eric Ten Hag has already confirmed that United will have to act on that by bringing in a second striker in as many years. I think it would help to sign a striker, he said. As I always had in this plan, we constructed that we should have had enough goals. You count on goals from Rashi, Marcus Rashford. Last season, he had 30. You count on goals from Marshall. Marshall's impending exit, as Ten Hag has highlighted, will leave a void within the squad that requires filling. United recruited Hoagland from Atalanta last summer for 64 million, and he immediately became their first choice goal getter. At the age of just 21, United signed the Dane with a view to him being the face of their forward line for years to come, meaning they are unlikely to invest an extravagant amount on another striker this summer, when only a backup or rotation option is needed. It is why links connecting United with Ivan Toney, Victor Osimhen, and even Harry Kane feel somewhat fanciful. Instead, United could do worse than choosing to explore an avenue they have ventured down in the past and see about rekindling their interest in Benjamin Sesko, the RB Leipzig striker, who was on the books of Red Bull Salzburg at the time, was on United's radar in the 2022 summer transfer window. As reported by the Manchester Evening News at the time, United weighed up a move for him after former football director John Murto held talks with his agent to gauge the possibility of a move. United, in the end, did not end up recruiting a striker in Ten Hag's first summer in charge. After another encouraging campaign at Salzburg in 2022-23, Sesko, 20, made the switch to sister club RB Leipzig in June 2023. He signed a five-year deal and has scored a respectable tally of 13 goals in 37 games so far this season. Also, the subject of reported interest from Newcastle in the past, the Slovenian is widely considered as one of the most promising strikers in European football, such as his ability to break the lines, press well, and be a threat in the air. His tally of 42 goals across the past three seasons is also encouraging for a player who does not turn 21 until the end of next month. According to widespread reports, Sesko has a release clause within his Leipzig contract that becomes active this summer, and it is said to be worth 42 millions. United will not be able to land Tony, Osimhen or Kane for a fee so low. Challenges around FFP and PSR are hampering all Premier League clubs' abilities in the transfer market, and United will be no different this summer with the need to embark on a squad rebuild. Any money they can save in one area will be a boost for elsewhere.